Now she'll be saying we weren't be needing eyes. I'm telling you, anything that flies without wings can't be trusted. It's against nature, and all that's holy. Mm-hmm. Get on. But hey, no feathers off my bones. If it comes crashing down, I'm not the one who'll be needing wings. Your friend, he'll just lend it to us. He yes, because I killed favor. him. Besides, NPS, that would be the Northland's parcel service, has just oh. upgraded their airborne fleet. This baby was one of the first they leased from the Azadi seven years back, and even then, she was getting on. So she potentially may break down. The new ones are faster, bigger, slicker, but she'll do just fine for our purposes. Mm. So you're coming with us? Coming yeah. with you? <laughs> Wouldn't miss it for the world, Miss Castillo. This is one adventure I'm definitely looking forward to. Besides, mm. you'll need me to fly her for you. She takes some getting used to. Just like know. every woman. I still don't trust a bird without wings. Get on! I'm keeping my eyes on you, sister. One wrong move, and bam! You'll feel the wrath of my beak. Get on! Stop finding him charming. Get on! Oh, hey, Ben Rime. Oh. In the name of the goddess under six, you will lay down your arms and submit to our swords. Uh, what? what? Stay there. Do not make a move. Search the premises. Let no one leave. Uh. What in the name of the six is going on? Yeah. Spare us the theatrics, publican. We know that you shelter rebels. <laughs> rebels? Of course not. This is a peaceful and law-abiding establishment. If that is the case, you will receive an official apology and recompense from the office of the emissary. You know, if we haven't killed you first. I'm afraid we cannot take your word for it. The cellar is clear. There's no one else in here, Apostle. I'll take the second floor myself. Ugh. It sounds like a time for sexy time. Why weren't she looking at me? Is there anything you want to tell us? You're trespassing. And I'm going to turn into a dragon. The traitorous innkeeper of this den of dissenters. Ooh. Oh, hey. Let me slice and dice you. Die, my good fellow. Rawr! Rawr! Raw! One more. Raw! Yes, now stay down. Oh no, that was my friend, Benjamin. Oh, you need some slicey slicey. Oh, you think you can be more feisty than your friend? Oh, how dare you. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, guys, no one come to my rescue. I'm totally fine, by the way. Yeah, so, yeah, just stay with the innkeeper who's not moving at all. Ah, didn't need you anyway. Alright, anyone in this room? Just some swords. They could belong to anyone. These doors are... Do not make a move, witch. Oh, the what army. What is your name? Naame? I'll give you one last chance to save your neck, witch. You will help me find someone, or you will die. And not just you. Uh... We will send the proprietor of this tavern to Sadir to stand trial for treason. <gasps> As for your friends who've just left harbor, <gasps> their ship will be boarded and the supplies confiscated. Do you know how the Azadi punish smugglers? Yes, Please. I do. My name their is Naame. That's his name with, the, down with an apostrophe in it. And then they are dropped. Into the ocean. Please, let them be. They carry only medicine and food. I have no quarrel with you or your compatriots. I seek only one person. <gasps> the one my people call the Scorpion. <gasps> the Scorpion? What do you know of him? If I... If I tell you about the Scorpion, will you let us go, Ben Rime? It's not Chuan, is it? The shipment? No. But if you lead me to the Scorpion, then yes. I will let you and your friends go. You'll have your food and medicine. Oh, Leave the boat oh. be, Azadi. Please, there are no weapons aboard. It poses no harm to your people. It's in your hands now. Mm. Very well. I will take you to, to the Scorpion, but only if you give me your word that you will harm no one else. It's kind of obvious who the word. Scorpion is. I Maybe mean, from the beginning. me for what I am about to do. No. They will never forgive you. 
We're walking on the air. <laughs> Sorry, it had to be done. Um, all right. It is pretty though. I'm. It's a bit complicated though. I mean, I can understand the blimp part and the sails part, and even like the deck on the top. But why would you have like the the drive the driving part off to one side? That's the confusing bit. And that's the bit that, you know, would probably be heavier and weighed down more if it landed. I, I don't know. And this just looks confusing. How are we doing? Just fine. Why are you looking at me? This you should be driving. This a real beauty. She basically flies herself. She just needs a tiny nudge now and again, but other than that... Uh, okay. So, Mr. Westhouse... Brian... Call me Brian, please. Brian, when did you come to Arcadia? Oh, that was a... Very long, long time long ago. long time ago. Too long. I travelled across the Divide in 33. 1933. 1933. <gasps> what? And you're how old, exactly? Oh, I may Ooh. be getting on, but I'm not that old. No, I got unstuck from time, and I was caught between worlds for a while. But now I'm okay. Not a pleasant experience by any measure of things, but I got out, and I made a life for myself in Mercuria. I made a bicycle. I'm never going back to start. And oh. I'm fine with that. I've made peace with my past. Arcadia is my home now. Oh. Where in stock did you come from? Yeah. Boston, USA. Oh. Back when there was a USA. Hell, back, back when, when there, there was, was a Boston. Boston. They're still there, both of them. How did you end up here? Are you a shifter? <laughs> Most certainly not. I mean, if I was, I would probably have gone back at some point. No, I made my way through the Divide by more unconventional means. Yes, yeah, some, I'm not that some old, guys man. did that. Something happened that got me... We're, unstuck from time. We've been about... It wasn't the best idea thing. I ever had, but still, here I am in good health and with all my limbs intact. I, that we know of. I shouldn't complain. I mean, we don't... We've never not seen you with, a, with another lady or a man since you've come here. Have you seen a lot of this world? I'd say so. When Mercuria was invaded by the Tyran Hordes ten years ago, I was forced to leave the city. I first traveled east across the Northlands to a place called Irhad, the Sun Empire, and then south across the Great Ocean I don't to the want to continent hear about called your the Southlands. After that, <sighs> well, there's not much left in this world that I haven't seen. I've even been to the Azadi Empire. But I have to say that I like the Northlands and Mercuria best of all. I, it feels like home. Well, you've been here the longest. Where did the Azadi come from? Far west. Hmm. Almost ten days' journey by boat. In their airships, however, or cloud ships, it doesn't take many days to cross the ocean. Hmm. You've visited their continent. Many I've times. I've passed through it, so to speak. Their capital, Sadir, is just amazing. It's built across a huge river delta where six rivers meet. Hmm. It's a holy place. Six rivers? They let six you just differences. wander freely through their city. I passed as a traveler in their land. It's not closed to outsiders, and as long as you respect the Azadi and their customs, they give you passage. Hmm. It's such a different culture from what we're used to, but they're an interesting people, and I found my visit to be highly educational. Ugh. What they're doing in Mercuria, though, it's certainly controversial. It is. On one hand, they brought freedom and peace. On the other hand... They brought all the other They've stuff. rounded up the magicals, stuck them in a ghetto, and... God knows what they intend to do with them next. Smile at them creepily. What are the Tyran? They were a barbaric people who lived on the western plains. Ten years ago, they invaded Mercuria. Now they're what? gone. The Azadi killed them all when they liberated the city. If there are any left, they're few and scattered. Hmm. The Tyran took the city during a time of great upheaval, but they didn't hold it long. The Azadi arrived in their ships soon after and drove them out. And then they started taking over. It's almost over. frightening how quickly the Tyran were wiped out. The Azadi showed no mercy. Yes, no mercy. When do we get to the Dark People's City? 
Hopefully in five minutes. What our friend said, it'll be another day or so. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just feeling a bit restless. Well, mm. there's not much to do here. You can look around the cabin for a bit, talk to Crow, or take a nap back in the hold. There's a bed there. You know, Thanks. a bed. Maybe I will. Bed, bed. Oh, I'm feeling seasick. Why? You're not in seasick. The... Aren't you used to flying? Flying, yes. Flying is no problem. Flying is flapping your wings and praying for a good tailwind. This isn't flying. This is torture. It is bobbing. So why don't you jump out there and fly instead? What? And catch a cold? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you do know that it's freezing out there, don't you? Yeah. And it's not like I can keep up with this infernal machine. My wings are made for comfort flying, not marathons. Marathons. No, I'll stay here. I'll just find a corner to go throw up in instead. Like behind you? Nice. How long have you known April? Uh, that depends on how you look at it. We go way back. But I haven't really seen her since way back. What happened? Oh. Yeah, what did she happen? She sent me on my merry way. Did she? She wanted to go find herself, which actually means go lose everyone else. Hmm. I can recommend it, though. It's very liberating. I went off to find myself recently, and I have nothing but good things to say about it. Oh. You see, I was about to get married. And... <gasps> to a bird? I mean, not a woman. I mean, well, yes, yes, a woman. A woman or a female bird. Hey, if you like males, male birds. Like you. Yes, that's right. A bird. Anyway, so the idea of settling down, building a nest, starting a family. I don't know. I started freaking out. So I went on a journey of inner discovery. Aww. You went on a journey of discovery? Yeah. Inner discovery. Hmm. A quest for personal understanding. A mission of self-realization. A voyage of inward fulfillment. A trek to the... Okay, yes. I get it. You wanted to find yourself. Yes. It's brilliant. You desert everyone, abandon your responsibilities and relationships, and focus completely on your own personal misery. This is sounding it's a familiar. Dish for the soul. Ew. You know, Crow, I think you may have misunderstood what finding yourself is all about. Hmm. What? No, April showed me how it's done. I can't believe I didn't do it sooner. I feel so much lighter. Not a care in the world. Hmm. Except for, you know, the total and abject misery in my heart and soul. Oh. Oh. 